Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. Got a different type of video for you today. Uh, with the season pretty much in the bag, uh, the draft is happening right now, so I thought this is a perfect time to try to guess who the rookie premiere cards are going to be uh, for next Mad or for the upcoming uh, you know promo when they bring out the rookie premiere promo. So in today's video, I'm be going over who I think from the first round because it's typically first round picks that get this honor uh, are going to be uh, the rookie premiere cards coming up, and then I'll also tell you if those are the guys which ones I would take. Now I'm starting off here with Chase Young because he was the number two pick in the draft. There is no chance that he is not one of the rookie premier guards based off the fact that he is easily one of the best players in the draft, if not easily the best player. Last year they did the same thing with Nick Bosa. He was one of the highest rated uh, defensive players. He was a defensive end. So they typically only have one per position. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver, you know, just like that. That's typically how they do that. So for defensive end, without a doubt, it's going to be Chase Young. I would definitely say he's probably the best one to take. If you guys don't know, the rookie premier Premieres, they increase over the season so if somebody gets rookie of the year or something like that like chase young has a pretty good chance to do he'll probably end the season in the high 90s for free so without a doubt my number one pick if you have one rookie premiere to do guarantee you chase young is going to be the best guy to do that now number two when i'm going to start off with the quarterbacks that's pretty much a toss-up because i know one of the biggest names in the draft is going to be joe burrow so a lot of people are probably going to want him but ea knows that man players typically like mobility and he's pretty mobile but at the end of the day i i wouldn't be surprised if it was Tua because Tua is a much more mobile prospect at least that's how typically people think but it could go either way and i think that if you get Tua, he might not start his first year where i'm pretty sure joe burrow will so since Joe Burrow was the number one pick, he'll probably be the guy. Ultimately, when somebody's the number one pick, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say Joe Burrow, but that could go either way. Wide receiver can go a couple of different ways. There's three guys that were considered, you know, the top three elite receivers in this draft. Jerry Judy, who I can say without a doubt probably won't be the guy. And then the first receiver off the board, which was Henry Ruggs. Now, Henry Ruggs, once again, EA knows we like speed guys. Last year, Hollywood Brown uh, was the receiver they gave us, even though I don't think he was the first receiver off the board either. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be Henry Ruggs. I think based off the fact, I think they like to try to work Cowboys players into this because there's so many Cowboys fans in the world. It's got the biggest fan base. So I think without a doubt, CeeDee Lamb, who could be the best receiver in the draft, um, he makes the most sense. Uh, it's definitely going to be him or Ruggs. They could go speed to try to sell a Packs or whatever it is they're planning to do. Um, speed always sells packs, so that could be the, the route. But I'm going to go on a limb and I'm going to say that it's going to be CeeDee Lamb. Uh, and if it was if it was Rugs, I would say do Rugs before I would say do Lamb. So to me, like I said, it could go either way. But if CeeDee Lamb's the pick, I don't think he'll be quite as fast as I would want. So, I mean, you need three wide receivers on your team. That's pretty much a given. So it's always a good idea to, to bet on three receivers or three corners. Pick up a receiver that's free. Uh, that would be a gnat like this. Or a cornerback that would be a gnat like this because like i said you need three you're always going to have use more use for them than you would like a quarterback or a running back so i would say whoever the receiver is is probably a good idea now a linebacker i think without a doubt madden fans are going to want isaiah simmons so i don't know if they would give it to us in a form of a free card as, as far as a rookie premier would go try to sell packs right now but isaiah simmons is without a doubt one of the best athletic linebackers to hit the draft in a long time there was a couple of linebackers that went in the draft um and i don't you know i think ea might want to give away a Kenneth Murray card or a Patrick Queen card a little bit more uh, in as far as a free form and they might try to sell you like an overpowered Isaiah Simmons maybe later in the year in the next season but it's really hard to say but if there's without a doubt there's a standout it would be Isaiah Simmons and if he comes on the board at six foot four 240 pounds the type of speed and athleticism that he has I would say he'd be one of my favorite personal ones to go out and get so last but not least we got cornerbacks there were no safeties that were taken so there might not be any option as far as safety to pick uh, but cornerback there's a lot of really good options and I think without a doubt the number one option is going to be the number three pick Jeff Okuda from Ohio State he is without a doubt uh, the best cornerback in this draft it's not even close um, there was a couple of cornerbacks that went uh, in the first round but none of them are on par with this guy so I think he would be the cornerback pick and he would be a definitely he'd be one of my top guys to take both of them would be from Ohio State Chase Young a defensive end uh, because I think he could set the table all year for your defense and uh, Jeff Okuda uh, at cornerback unless like I said if they take if Henry Ruggs gets 
gets a card, he's definitely a guy that I'm going to shoot for. Because anytime you have, you need three cornerbacks and you need three, uh, I mean, you, sometimes you need even more cornerbacks. Sometimes you need even more safeties, but that's not an option. Three cornerbacks, three receivers on your offense. So plugging one of those and getting a cornerback or a receiver that's going to going to grow with your team all year as they make, you know, as they, as they get awards and get, you know, new cards. So to me, without a doubt, if I have an option, if I'm correct on these picks, Henry Ruggs and Jeff Okuda would be the guys that I would go for based off the fact that you need three cornerbacks and you need three wide receivers. So there's a better chance you're going to need them. Uh, but like I said, you can guarantee uh, that Chase Young is going to have a hell of a season. So definitely, you know, look hit, look his way. So if I can if I can afford three cards, those are going to be the three that I get. Who knows, by the time they come out or by the time next season starts, maybe I can, maybe I can buy them all. And if you guys want to see a video on that, let me know in the comment section or hit the like button. I'll do that next. So that's that's it. That's the vid. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.